Okay, so in this video, I'm not just going to be reviewing a beer, I'm also going to show this uh, cap gun bottle opener. So uh, let's take a look at the, the bottle first. So this is Innocent Gun Brewing Company, established 2003. I thought it was going to have like a really old year, because usually on bottles or cans of beer they do like 1890 or 1910 or something. But this is uh, 2003. And you've got like this uh, logo there, and you've got some more um, some writing on the actual. It's like the glass itself has writing on it, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you call it. Is it embossed or something? So this is barrel aged, innocent gun, blood red sky, rum barrel red bear. So there's like three different ones of this, like three different flavors, and they just caught my eye straight away when I was in the supermarket because I like the artwork and stuff. And on this one I saw it said uh, Rum Barrel Red Burn, I thought that sounds really nice. And it's 6.8% uh, as well, so it's quite strong. And yeah, so that's the back. Yeah, so when I, when I read this, like it's Red Bear, um, cool spicy rum notes, vanilla and ri rich fruit. I thought that sounds really nice, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. Let's have a look at this uh, Cap Gun bottle opener. So I saw one of these and, and another one on uh, Nash Rathbone's channel in one of his videos and I thought they look really really cool, I've got to get one and um, I don't know uh, whether it's a company in China that makes these or whatever but uh, they're really cheap, I think I paid about £2 for this and I have already opened this and tried the gun out because I did try making a video of this a while back, but the video just turned out to be a complete disaster and I knew I couldn't use it, so... Alright, let's take a look at this anyway. So I've got this one in grey, you can also get them in red. And there it's showing you how to use it. Shoots over 5 metres, let's have a look at the back. Got some bottles of beer there. And there's some small writing on the back there. So it says there, warning, this is not a toy. And I, I agree with that and I'll explain why later on. Contains small parts and sharp edges and points. 14 plus. It's not a toy, keep away from children. This product contains magnets or magnetic components. Seek immediate medical help if magnets are swallowed or inhaled. Well, um, I didn't know snorting magnets was a thing, but maybe that's something that uh, a lot of kids do these days. So let's open this. There is the gun itself. So basically you pull this back, so then it's like it's ready to fire. Um, you pull the, the, the cap off. The cap should stay inside there and then you pull the trigger and it will shoot it out. So uh, yeah, let's try this, so let's uh, pull this back. Like that. You do have to press it quite hard to make it click and stay into place. So let's take off this lid. Okay, so now the top is inside the gun and let's, uh, let's fire it, let's uh, adjust this camera actually. I'll just fire it at the wall. At the end of this video I'll probably show how far it actually fires, like I'll try firing it in the hallway or something. Cool. So uh, yeah, let's uh, check this Innocent Gun Blood Red Sky bear out. I can't remember how much it cost, I don't think it was more than £2. That's a really nice colour. Yeah, I don't know why I was quite surprised seeing how, just how little it's filled up with the glass. I don't know why I found that surprising because it is quite a small bottle. But yeah, nice colour. Very, uh, very, very dark brown. Kind of like treacle or something. But uh, yeah, let's see what it smells like. That smells really nice. Um, it's kind of reminding me of uh, Ruby Red. A little bit. Uh, kind of chocolate. 
maybe nuts or something. It's quite difficult to describe the the aroma, but it's um, it's it's a really nice kind of full, strong, robust aroma. If that makes any sense. Let's see what it tastes like. That's really nice. Um, a tiny bit of bitterness at the back of the throat. Um, I don't know why I'm saying at the back of the throat because uh, you can't taste there. But that's how it seemed anyway. Kind of like... Um, Kind of like a bit of a coffee flavour. I don't know. This is so it's so difficult to describe. Let's see what it says on the back again. So it's saying spicy rum notes. I can't even remember what rum is supposed to taste like. I've only had it like a, a couple of times in my life, and the last time I had it was many years ago. Yeah, I guess I, it's like tasting it. Then it's kind of brought back what rum tastes like so it it, do, it does actually taste a bit like rum um, vanilla I don't think I'm tasting vanilla no I don't I don't really seem to be tasting vanilla vanilla can't even talk um, and rich fruit let's see um, maybe rich fruit a tiny bit To me, it's kind of more. I don't know, kind of, kind of more of like a, a bit of a bit of a chocolatey coffee kind of flavor, flavor with a bit of rum. Doesn't really. I think I said before that it smell. It kind of smells like a ruby red ale. Um, it doesn't really taste like one. But it's it's a, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. And I guess gets bonus points for being 6.8% as well. So uh, what would I give this out of 10? I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's, uh, it's a really nice beer. Um, check it out if you see it in the uh, supermarket next time you go shopping. So I completely forgot to explain why I agree with what's said on the back of the packaging when it says this is not a kid's toy. So Let's uh, let's pull this thing back so it's ready to to uh, fire. Now imagine a kid putting their finger in there or anyone, and uh, while the, their finger is in there, that's probably going to really hurt, and in fact, it will probably cause some damage. You know, it's uh, so I don't know if you would have seen it because it was quite fast, but like this pla this plastic thing, it shoots forwards really fast. And that's probably going to really, really hurt. So I definitely wouldn't let a kid play with this unless I was supervising the kid to make sure that he doesn't put his finger in there. Because uh, it's kind of dangerous, I suppose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how far this actually fires. So let's pull this thing back. Put the cap into there. So the cap gets held in into place by uh, magnets. You can see that it's held into place and uh, let's fire this and see how far it fires. Okay so I'm in the hallway, let's see if I can get the cap to hit that wall. Yep. So uh, yeah it's quite a cool gun, it fires quite far but uh, yeah that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.